Now the heel class or the healer class is a pretty popular choice at the moment and I'm noticing many players asking about the best place to farm to level up that light staff, especially for those solo players. Well that's what I bring you guys today, if you are a solo player and want to farm and level up that light staff pretty easy, this is for you, especially if you're a level 15 to 25. This will help you out a ton. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the healer build starts with a light staff. And like I said, are pretty popular at the moment. This is for good reason. With a high level healer, it does make a lot of that in game much, much easier. Now if you are a solo player and want a spot to farm enemies that constantly respawn and you are also between a level 15 and 25, this spot will see you earning fast and easy XP for that light staff meaning you can create that amazing heal build much faster and easier. So within Monarch's Bluffs, within the lower left of this area is a place called Dead Man's Anchor. This area is full of enemies that are level 21, 22, 23, 24 and 25, some even higher. Now coming here as a solo player and trying to fight these enemies if you ain't a level 25 plus, you will have a hard time if you don't utilise the surrounding area properly. Doing it this way I'll show you today will be much more efficient for those lower leveled players to kill these enemies and earn that light staff XP at a decent rate. So what you want to do is make your way to the south entrance as you can see me at here on the map. Now bordering the outskirts are the lower leveled enemies here, level 22s and 23s. These enemies when you are equipped with that light staff are real easy to stand at a distance and kill. And these enemies are right here actually constantly spawn every minute or so. So what you want to do is Kill the two right here as you can see me do. Sometimes on the right two more enemies spawn. Once you kill those within that first house is a level 24 enemy. Kill him too. Then push slightly right again and take out enemies glowing blue. Try and avoid the guys with the shields uh, if you can because these are a pain in the ass when trying to use that light staff. Then slightly work left and again take out the glowing blue guy and again try and ignore the guy with his shield. If you do get their attention you may want to switch to a different weapon and kill them. Once you have done this quick route head back to the first enemies again and rinse and repeat it guys they will have respawned. Simply rotate this quick little route as many times as you want and it really is that simple. This works great for players at level 15 to 25 like I said trying to level up that light staff. Now when you do get above a level 22, 23 uh, you can use the whole area to draw attention to enemies and kill them for XP. But again, certain parts of this area will get very populated very quickly with enemies. And you are in reality at best in my opinion sticking to the outskirts while your level isn't high enough. Remember to apply weapon upgrades to the healing tree of that light staff as soon as you unlock them. But yes guys, this is a great great farm for light staff weapon XP for all those players out there who want to be healers and right now are playing as a solo player. Me myself, I came here, I knew about the area already but I came here with a light staff which I'd literally just got and within 15 to 20 minutes, maybe a little longer because time flies on this game, I was already a level 10 on my light staff. So it just goes to show how fast it is. I was, when I first got here, I think a level 20 or 21, but you do earn a ton of XP off those higher leveled enemies. And this within the early stages of the game is one of the best areas to come to. So I do hope it helps you guys out. And on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.